Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today is exciting. Uh, we got a request from Greybeard. And guess what it is? Yes, you read correctly. We're doing a... Uh, I was going to say... <laughs> I was going to say Black Sabbath. We're doing a Deep Purple Marathon. And I can't wait. I mean, I'm so stoked about... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm so excited about the whole... Um, uh, deep purple thing because I'm such a fanboy now of Rainbow. Um, I mean, and I haven't even heard like ten percent of their music, but it's just so good. So I'm really just like really excited to do this deep purple one. There's some good stuff here. Um, well, I presume that's good stuff because I mean I know I've heard some uh you know, tracks uh, from machine head i've heard some tracks from deep purple and rock i have not heard fireball but i know that this is the album that basically made a good guitar player that i like the, the guitar player that he is he learned every single track as a child on uh on this uh so that i read that in an interview so okay here are the tracks so we're gonna do Pictures of Home, which I've heard on the Ingwe Malmsteen record Inspiration. So I know the version, but I haven't had, had I have never heard the original. Um Flight of the Rats by uh Deep Purple and Rock, The Mule from Fireball, and Sail Away from the album Burn. So let's take a look at the years here. So Machine Head was released in 72. Deep Purple in rock 70 okay and fireball 71 and burn 74 you know what let me put these in order let me put um give me one second let's 72 so let's put the 71 the 71st so we can just hear we can hear the evolution better so we're gonna do flight of the rat first Okay, 70. Then we're going to do uh, Pictures of Home, 72. Then we're going to do Fireball, 70. Oh, okay, 71. Okay, that's before. Fireball before uh, Pictures of Home. Let me see. Okay, and Burn, 74. Okay, let's see. 70. 70. 71, 72, 74. All right, so now we have a marathon and also in the order of release. That's how I'd like to roll. Okay, okay, awesome. Greybeard, sorry about this. I mean, you know, I love to improvise all this. Um, sometimes a lot of people are like, you know, you should be better prepared. and But it's all about being spontaneous you know this is not i'm not gonna cut like this perfect it's like why you know um i could but why take away the fun of being you know making mistakes that's how we are that's how we listen to songs you know or we scratch the cd you know or we put on the wrong tape or so uh, it's not we're not all robots so i love the whole like you know I see something and I can change it, make it better. Cool. All right. So um, so let's start with Flight of the Rats, 19... <laughs> I forgot. 1970. Okay. And then 71, 72, 73. Um, um, I'm 72, 73, 74. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at this. There's There's toys all over. My child, my little child. Oh, there he is. You can see him. There he is, Marley. Oh, you're on camera. Yeah. Look at that little, look at that little thing. That uh, that is still a gift from Tony, by the way. Thank you, Tony. He plays with it, as you can see, every day. Okay, here we go. Let's start, and I can't wait. Let's take off these. We don't need them to listen to music. I rather not see so much, um, <laughs> so I can concentrate more on the music. So. Here we go. Thank you, Greybeard. Again, if you like the channel, if it's your first time, like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. It does. 
if you would like to request a song, do so in the um, description below. I'll be happy to be your host and do this for you. All right, let's get into the music. Thank you, guys. And here we go. So this sounds like it sounds so good. <laughs> I love Deep Purple. Um, but it sounds obviously a little bit not as heavy yet, not as. I guess they were just founding like their style. Like I guess with Machine Head, that's when they kind of like exploded, you know. Um, style wise, it sounds still. I love it. Sounds heavy. The keyboard is very. I love how distorted it is. The bass is so tight. And, and Richie Blackmore is just like on the guitar. Doodly, doodly, doodly. I love that little scale there. And even, uh, I think it's Ian on the vocals. He is so very, it's not so like, you know, like so high. And. Uh, okay. Well, he's a good guard dog. You have to give it to him. Let's see um, if there's somebody at the door. Give me one second. All right, guys. So, yeah, so we did have a neighbor come by. Um, everything's fine. So let's just continue. Like, I did talk a little bit about the band. Let's let's just keep the music rolling. And here we go.
Oh yeah. So pff, man, I've never heard Richie Blackmore play the the, the Cry Baby. Um, the one that I used in my little video that I made, like the one when you listen to Rainbow too much. Um, uh, but I didn't do the. I just had it in a position, so it sounded a little like you know that wah but yeah i just looked up the band members i don't want to look this so stupid so john lord on the keyboards just insane i love the way he plays like these classical scales how they bounce up each other um they were just like basically just like literally competing here really cool and then of course let's give credit to i have to learn these names um so ian gillen i got ian i got ian wright and then, of course, uh, Roger Glover, or Glover, I think it's Glover, Roger Glover. I think he also has like a, a name that everybody calls him. Um, so I'm just looking at the current members, but the, t the past members, so Richie Blackman, John Lord on the keyboard. Um, wow, man. Tommy Bolin on the guitar. Wow. Jolyn Turner. They've had some music. They, just the marathon. As Steve Morris is currently on the guitar. What a legend! Also, um, I just heard. Oh my God, I'm gonna do this live. Um, or I'm gonna record. There's a, there's a the jam. Steve Morris and Alan Holdsworth. They just came out a month ago. Please don't watch it without me. I have to react. It's literally my favorite player, with with Steve Morris together. So let's do that. Um, okay, let's keep going. It's just fantastic. I mean, they're already on fire. These, 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 these guys, um, fantastic. Let's go. Like, I'm a huge Led Zeppelin fan. Huge. Um, but I, we don't do Led Zeppelin because we've already heard everything. Now, there is a... I mean, it is 
So Alexia doesn't really know Led Zeppelin. She claims to be a super fan, but she only has heard Led Zeppelin 2 and 4 and in little, little in between. But also she's not like a she's not like me. Like I used to buy if I was a fan of something, then I would get all the albums and just like deep dive into that band and just like learn all the lyrics and learn all the guitar parts and learn all the names and stuff. She's more like, I love Led Zeppelin for it's beautiful. Everything on that album is perfect. And then there's some other Led Zeppelin. I'm more like, I know Led Zeppelin, two, three, four, um, song remains the same, physical graffiti, um, Coda, Presence, and Through the Outdoor. There we go. I, I, If I missed one, okay. But basically, I know all the songs. So, but man, Deep Purple and Rainbow, they're really winning me over, man. I mean, I can't say they're better because Led Zeppelin is so iconic and so good, but it's they're so good, these guys. Like, jeez, you know? And um, I'm going to do a Black Sabbath marathon soon, too. So <laughs> I never gave them a chance. I don't know why. It's You know, I guess it's like what they, what they say. There's this really um, funny saying in Germany. What the uh, the Bauer, the Bauer is like the, the guy who like does the land, the farmer, what the fan farmer, what the farmer doesn't know. He doesn't eat. Simple as that. If I don't know it, I don't care about it. And that's so true. So I've I, I had this mentality for a lot of for a lot of time, a lot of years, and um now I see um that I was wrong, you know. So there's other stuff out there that you can enjoy and okay. I'm getting off topic. I love to do that, I guess. So now we're gonna go with the second um track. From two years, uh, so this was 1970. We're going to have one from 71, Fireball. And the track is The Mule. Let's give it up for them.
you know, like <laughs> Arabian and like Egyptian scales. Um, but it's so effective. Like what, you know, um, John Lord was doing there with the keyboard. Like, <laughs> you're like, okay, you're in the desert. I can see like pyramids and stuff, you know, pharaohs and... It just works uh, in rock music so well, um, these scales. And um, I use them too, you know, and it's so, it's so good. Um, this whole track is super cool. Like the whole and the vibe, the singing, man, it's so good. Um, yeah, let's, let's continue. <laughs> I'm I'm also stopping so they don't block the 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 you know the songs because it did happen with Thin Lizzy, it happened with Riot, and then I disputed it because I'm like hey you know I'm like I'm I am interrupting I'm not just like playing these songs uh, for people for free, um, so okay here we go, it's so good by the way. <laughs> Shankar. There you go. It's actually two words, sorry. It's an art form. It's an art form to cause discomfort. It is designed to cause a reaction to be like, whoa, what, what? This sounds like this doesn't sound normal. Like, this is what is so cool about music that you can, like the Beatles and A Day in the Life. Da, 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 de, ba, da, da, de, da, de, ba, de, 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 de. You know, remember that at the end? Um, and I caught that when I listened to that. And I think they even messed up with the last chord. There's something um, that I read. So cool. Wow, these songs have been a trip. Especially this one right now. It had like a little bit of a vibe that reminded me of The Doors. I'm sorry if this is too loud. I'm still learning how to kind of like eye it. Um, But yeah, this sounded cool. I, I like... I felt I was like in Luxor, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like in a, in a pyramid, like tomb, tomb raider, you know, 
and um, really cool, really cool track, Flight of a Rat. Wow. Um, I'm sorry, The Mule. The first one was Flight of a Rat. The Mule was really good. And now Pictures of Home I've heard before um, with the great um, Jeff Scott Soto on the vocals. And uh, I think he had Jens Johansson on the keys, Ingwie Malmsteen on the guitar. And uh, I don't know the other other band members he had, but uh, but uh, it already happened that I've listened to, um, I think, Gates of Babylon. And that one, the original, blew Malmsteen's version away. But, I mean, it is what it is. The original is always going to be better. Right. So let's go with Pictures of Home from the Machine Head, the album that defined this band pretty much also one thing real quick about the shakiness of the camera i'm gonna i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna install like so the thing is this i'm gonna show you a picture it's on a stand right the the camera's on a stand so every time i'm like do this or even if i like kind of like move in my seat i'm moving the floor so i'm moving the table so i'm moving the camera so it's a bummer and then sometimes when I edit, I forget to do the, there is like a program that takes off the shakiness, but it, it lasts forever. It renders it like 30 minutes and the rendering already takes a lot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to install a floating um, uh, corner, like what do you call it? You know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to put the camera on there. So we might even look more even higher away <laughs> we're gonna be like this looking at the ceiling now i'm just kidding it's gonna be about the same and then maybe if i can zoom in it's gonna be the same don't but then it's gonna be stable it's never gonna move again perfect and before we would use the phone the phone didn't move that much so the camera is very sensitive and so literally if i do this you see how the floor moves like i don't know how they built these houses but yeah, it's uh, I guess it's wood, so everything. Okay, pictures from home, pictures of home, 1972, the defining moment of this band when they got really into business. Let's go. so much memories but i do love this so the angry momstein version is way too heavy it doesn't fit i mean i love the angry momstein version yes it, but it sounds like so like gin, 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 gin. like this is more like still you know it sounds 70s i love that it's just sung in a way like when i did the metallica queen comparison it's just like calm you know i just like this more because first of all it's the original I, oh i'm always gonna go with the original um and it's just like more calm more man what a great lick what a great lick um okay let's continue great <laughs>
love this, man. I love this version way better than the other one. Um, sorry, Hingwei. I love you to death, but <laughs> this you should have done it more lighter. But I mean, it's a different time. I mean, he did it. He recorded it 20 years, 24 years later. So, and then he want to make this his own, you know. Uh, but I do love to compare. I should do more videos um, because they cause all this chaos in the comment section. Because everybody has a different style and a different taste of music. So to put two songs together that are like the original and the cover, it does spark a little bit of interest, you know, and... Um, but uh, no, you guys are cool. Like you keep it, you keep it civil in the comment section. I love that. Very positive. Everybody has their different opinion, you know, and that's cool. So okay, so we're gonna do sail away. We're almost at the usual point where I like to stop the video. We have five minutes left. Uh, I like to keep it between forty-five minutes because it's twenty-five minutes of music and like twenty minutes of me interrupting um so yeah and 45 minutes is like watching an episode of anything so you can watch an episode of nick music with nick or nick and alexia um nick and lex so let's keep it short and uh and nice but i hope you enjoy as much i'm having a blast i'm sorry sometimes i do close my eyes because i'm so like immersed and i hope that doesn't it doesn't seem like I'm not interested. I'm actually so interested. I have to close my eyes so I can just, you know. So, okay. 1974. My God. They're making music before my time. So good. <laughs> it's insane. Um, uh, my oldest brother, I think, was already born. But he's way older than me. So, um, yeah. What great music. The best music in the world. I hope it happens again. I hope it does happen again. That we have this era of creativity. But there's too much technology involved now. Too much distraction. Too much... Yeah. Too much BS. Um, I wish we we could go back and just be like this. You know? But well... Let's do Sail Away from the album Burn. Let's go.
No, you use that as so much as, as to my playing. Wow, what a great tune. Very attitude, you know, it had a lot of attitude. The singing was amazing. I can't believe it's David. Uh, I was going to say, oh my God, you were going to like decapitate me. You were going to say Copperfield. Uh, Coverdale, of course. Um, Coverdale. Wow. So Blackmore. But only on, maybe only on this. Maybe it because let me see. So where's the original singer? Let me see. So it was recorded in Montreux. Is that like the b smoke on the water incident? David Coverdale and Glenn Hodges. Boogie oriented. Mm -hmm. Wow. So I guess he left the band for an album, right? Give me a second. I'm so confused. All these lineups. I see that Ian Gillian, Gillen, sorry, is now the vocalist again. So I guess he must have, yeah, 1969 to 1973, he like, he left the band for this album until 1984. And, and then and again, 19... In 1989, he left. In 1992, until now, he... Well, okay, I guess. It happens, you know? It happens. Bands do that. Iron Maiden, also Bruce Dickinson, left. Um, look, uh, Jason Newstead left Metallica. Um, but, I mean, this back and forth uh, is confusing. Um, and also Dio, then wasn't Dio the Rainbow, but Dio was also in Black Sabbath, and then... It's so, so confusing, but I'll get to it. And oh my God, Joe Satriani. Oh, that he was a touring member. Okay, that makes sense. Um, wow. Well, guys, I don't know what to say. This was just fantastic. I mean, Deep Purple, and Rainbow, and uh, so many bands that I've been listening to with this. First with a, a metal with Nick. It this month of June was just amazing. What I've learned. Uh, in music and how to appreciate it more and even how it has affected my style like I'm like playing with fuzz now um, <laughs> and with this way too distorted guitar um, I, I, I pulled back on that years ago I started just playing very clean and um, having a distortion that's very like very thin and uh, and now I'm playing like with all this crazy effects and all this stuff um, but yeah, and, uh, it's, it was, this was amazing. Graveyard, thank you so much. I had a blast. This is, this makes my day. Thank you. And I hope I can give you that same pleasure through these videos. And man, you guys grew up with some badass music that I must say, like, no wonder you guys are so tough. Um, because all the shit that comes out today. Okay, let's see how that's going to end. Um, but thank you, guys. This was amazing. Thank you for the request, Greybeard. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful music. Also, the tracks were very different from each other. It was never repetitive. I love that when you guys take your time and say, okay, he's going to make a marathon, but I'm going to make it worth, you know, I'm going to make this for everybody in the channel, not just for me. It's about, you know, for the community there. The community is going to listen to your choices, to your list. So when you have a badass list, they're going to say like, Greybeard is the man, you know? So yeah, that was a great, great list. Um, I can't wait to make another marathon of Deep Purple. Um, just, you know, feed me with your knowledge. Um, thank you guys. I had a great, great time. Um, Thank you so much for supporting the channel, for being patient with Alexia. Um, I love you guys. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.